Well, Halloween has come and gone, but the County Library has a real life murder mystery game for all of you who just aren't ready to say goodbye to spooky season yet. So for more on that game, joining me now with the county is Jeff Bidas and also game players Gene and Randall. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it. So I'm sure everybody out at home, I have no idea. How does this game work? Walk me through it. Sure. Well, it's called uh, Who Done It? Mystery at the Gilded Keys. And um, there's been a murder and there's been a jewel thief. Uh, theft. Okay. And so it's an immersive event where we're going to go and try and interact with the characters that are in the building and try and figure out who did the murder and who stole the jewels, uh, what they did it with, and where they did it. Okay. And so you two are game players. Why are you participating in this, first of all? I've participated in a number of county programs in the past, and they're always a lot of fun. It sounds so pretty when fun. I, when I saw this, I thought, I have to sign up for this one, too. <laughs> I love it. And you guys are playing the part. Can you kind of walk me through the storyline, giving you know viewers a sneak peek of exactly what it is? Well, my name is Miss Benjamina Green. Hence the green. The green. <laughs> exactly. I'm a Mr. Caprice's accountant. Okay. Mr. Caprice is a philanthropist who has benefited the city in many different ways. He also maybe dabbles in a few other things, but Jeff can tell you more about that. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah he, he, might have his, he might have his hands in some dirty business okay. as well. Ooh. So uh, he's, there's been a murder. The murder is uh, a competitor of sorts of his. So we're really trying to figure out who did that. And it could be anyone, because everyone has kind of a motive. So it's really up to you to kind of sneak around, find those clues and figure out how uh, the what, Rossi, it's uh, Jim the Body Rossi, Rossi got uh, thrown off the second floor window. Oh, okay. Yeah. And who are you? I play Richard Conti, okay. uh, actor of this film, North Period, who owes my career to Mr. Caprice. So. Okay, so there's a whole storyline to this. So if people want to participate, what do they need to know? Because I'm sure a lot of people are like, okay, this sounds so cool, but like, what storyline do I need to know going into it? When is it happening? Stuff like that. You don't need to know anything going in. Okay. Um, you can just show up. It's on the 19th, which is uh, coming up pretty quickly. So we're doing it from 7, to p uh, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Viridian Event Center. That's in West Jordan. Um, just show up. And if you want to wear film noir costumes, that looks great. That'll definitely help set the mood a little bit more. So like 1940s stuff. Okay. Yeah. So they should come dressed up. Absolutely. But in terms of the storyline and solving this mystery, they don't need to know anything beforehand. Just no. come up if you want to have a good time and you guys will walk them through it all. Yeah, it's going to be like a perfect date night group activity, I think. And is there any like age limit to this or is everybody welcome? Yeah, this one's adults only. This one's adults yeah. only. Okay, yeah. so that's good to know. All of you at home, leave the children at home for this one. Is there anything else you want to say about this? Because this is the first time you're doing something like this at the County Library. Yeah, since I've been here, I haven't seen anything like this. I'm really, really excited about it. We've worked super hard on it for the past six months, putting it all together. We're going to transform the library. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, if you need more info, just go to thecountylibrary.org slash whodunit. Perfect. I love that. Well, thank you guys for coming. And this is so exciting. I'm sure a lot of people are going to have fun with that. And for more information, we head to our website at abc4.com slash GMU. We will have a link to your website. So thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. All righty, Brian, back to you.